I bought a couple of first gen iPod touches from eBay for, well, pretty cheap. And in this video, we're gonna unbox them, test them out, and see if they're still cool here in 2024. Now, unfortunately, eBay seems to often present problems with the things I buy from them, and this purchase was no different. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got. Now we're gonna start with a tiny box here today, which supposedly has the Gen 1 iPod Touch with a brand new battery. And you can see the, the label here, which is kind of comically small, but <laughs> let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. All right, so uh, ooh, we got some goodies here. We got the, the headphones. These actually look like the headphones that originally came with it. Might be knockoffs. Also got a little power brick here that's probably like a one amp power brick that's useless. Also got a charger, which is good to see. And then of course, the iPod Touch here is wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh man, dude, that's, that's so nostalgic. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that thing scratched up like crazy. Kind of expected for an old iPod Touch from 2007, guys, 2007. Yeah, that, that's when it's from. Oh, and also I have a kind of funny story about these headphones and accessories here. Uh, basically the guy I bought this from on eBay said, I have a question on the iPod you just ordered. Do you want the, or do you need the accessories as shown in the listing? Just don't want to ship unwanted accessories, which is like, I, I get it. He's trying to save a few bucks, but they were in the listing. So yeah, ship them. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if this bad boy turns on. And we got, of course, the power button on the top and then the classic little home button here. But let's go ahead and see if the power button works. It's not turning on. All right, let's, let's plug this bad boy in and see if this power button does anything. Oh, it's turning on. Nice. We got enough charge now. All right, let's slide it. Oh, that's classic. That classic noise. Dude, just, li nah, just listen to this. Whew, that little click. Dude, it's so nostalgic. I'm just going to start with the uh, settings here and see if this thing has been factory reset or if they left anything on it. I, I don't I don't really know the situation of this thing. So let's, let's check. HISBL's iPod. HISBL's iPod, zero songs, zero photos, zero videos. Uh, it's got, yeah, of course, eight gigs. Uh, we're on version 3.13, so it is updated from iOS 1.1, which I think is what this came with, which is just mind blowing. Uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> see what's on this thing though. I mean, it's got, oh, so nostalgic. It's got the Safari, the calendar, mail app, uh, all the standard stuff. My favorite one is the YouTube app that just like before YouTube was, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This happened one time where I booted up an iPod Touch or an iPhone or something, and it still had the saved YouTube video history. I don't think this one does, uh, can't connect. Most viewed, search, favorites, history? Come on, no, it's not showing it, but dude, this like this interface is so nostalgic. And of course your calculator, notes, settings, app store, all this stuff is, is nostalgic as well. Also try to boot up the app store and of course it says cannot connect to app store. Now I am curious, I saw a Wi-Fi thing pop up here. I wonder if, if I connect to Wi-Fi, will it let me do anything? Like connect to YouTube, the internet? I, I don't know how that'll work. So let's, let's go ahead and try to connect to Wi-Fi and just see if it somehow works. All right guys, we're in. We're gonna start with YouTube here. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Ah, I mean, this is before, <laughs> this is before YouTube was even acquired by Google, which is just wild to think about. Now, next up, let's try, let's try out the App Store, see if that'll like do something. No, nothing. Now, the part that I assume would work is Safari. Like, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Maybe it's a really old version of Safari. But let's go ahead and give that a go. Let me see if I can watch YouTube in Safari. <laughs> Your browser is outdated, uh, but I can proceed. Okay, sure. Also. By the way, I just realized there's not even, are there seriously no volume buttons on the Gen 1 iPod Touch? What, what, How, hold on. <laughs> Do you seriously have, to, seriously have to go all the way to the settings to adjust the volume? So guys, I looked it up and yeah, apparently the first gen iPod Touch did not have speakers. And also there's another first gen iPod Touch coming up in this video that somehow does have speakers. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see why. Let me go back to the Safari here and try, try to watch a YouTube video or not. It's just not gonna load. I guess that's just, <laughs> that's not too surprising. Let's try another website. Dude, this is so funny to see old websites or see websites on an old device. We're on yahoo.com right now and just, dude, just look at this. We got skip navigation links, advertisement up next, advertisement up next, advertisement. <laughs> I actually had a Gen 1 iPod Touch back in the day. Like this is the iPod Touch I used originally, but I, I sold it ages ago. So I don't remember much about this thing, but I do remember it being awesome and watching all kinds of Weird Al Yankovic videos on uh, YouTube, you know, the good stuff. Whatever, I I'm gonna put this iPod touch to, touch to the side. We're gonna let it charge for a while and we'll get back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this other iPod touch because I think it's got some stuff already preloaded onto it. We can mess around with it. If, if, if it doesn't, we'll just load some stuff onto here and play around with it some more. Now this one should be, I don't think it's complete in box, but it's inside the original box also for like 20 bucks or so, which is, I just thought was kind of awesome. All right, and of course inside of here, somebody is using the free package. <laughs> Just a sidebar here, not, not related to iPod Touches at all, but I can't stand when people use this free packaging as like internal packaging. This is supposed to be for if you ship a padded flat rate envelope, then you get to use this for free. Not, it's not for your internal packaging and it raises the prices for the rest of us. So shame on you, but oh dude, that's clean. Uh, we even got the, the original greasy fingerprints from whoever originally bought this iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up there and see what's inside, nice. 
This one at first glance is definitely in better condition than the other one though. It's got a, actually a screen protector on it, so it's got a few bubbles there back when the screen protectors all kind of sucked. Uh, the back is pretty clean though, like it's it's got fingerprints on it, but it's not super scratched up like the other one was. Nice, I got a custom little orange uh, USB cable there. Let's see if we have any, any of the original paperwork. Oh, yeah, we do. Ooh, what is what is this? I don't know if that came with the iPod Touch or if that just kind of got st stuffed in there, but it looks like we got some of the original paperwork, which is awesome as well. You can kind of see Apple's original touch of just like cool packaging designed by Apple in California. Ooh, swanky. We even got the, the original Apple stickers, which is cool to see. We've got, who? Yo, the quick start guide. Oh man, I gotta check this out. You can set up, sync and charge, go home, song controls, browse your music and cover flow, access the iTunes store, uh, viewing photos, find your location. Ooh, that's big stuff back in 2007. Three, two, one. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was trying to hold it to turn on and it's already got power. <laughs> Yo, oh. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, it already turned off. Let me wait for a second for it to charge. All right, here we go. Back uh, up and booted. Let's let's see what's here. I don't, I don't know if you guys could see it before, but when I briefly turned this thing on, it showed up right in the notes app. Like this person had skipped no beat. The, here it is, this is the exact thing. So like, it's like this person hadn't used this thing since April 3rd, whatever year, probably like 2010 or something. CK to Betty Ann, Credit Union, Rhett CK, Flowers for Ann Birthday. Dude, I I love seeing these notes here. That's, is that seriously the only note here? And it, it, it is, all right, <laughs> let's go ahead and explore some more because you, know you know if there's notes here, there's gonna be some other stuff here. Why does this screen get so much brighter than the last one? Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> this is not a Gen 1 iPod Touch, hold up. Oh, you know what happened? It's a Gen 1 box, but it's not a, it's not a Gen 1 iPod. You can see right here on the Gen 1 box, it matches up with the first iPod I pulled out where there's no volume buttons on the side. But this one I have in my hands does have volume buttons on the side. Also, the box itself has these like grayish bezels. That's that's what the Gen 1 has. Yep, that's the second gen. All right, so we got the second gen here, which I I, I guess is fine. Let's just go ahead and explore some because <laughs> this is this is still funny to kind of see this. Now we still got the uh, the old YouTube app. We've got all the standard, you know, old mail calendar stocks. We actually have a game center on this one, and we also have go ghost radar. <laughs> is this seriously for searching for ghosts? Okay, so it's got like it's, like it's got some coordinates and then some random like there's no camera on this thing. Flux readout numeric graphical. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Oh, I need to tune my ghost radar. Employs a proprietary algorithm to analyze the quantum flux. <laughs> Dude, this is such a early iPod Touch app, and I, I love it. This is this is hilarious. Let's go ahead and check out some other stuff though. See if you can see the Safari search history. Yo, what what do they have open? Mac OS X update, <laughs> updating your software. That's that's funny. That's old. Market preview. Oh, dude, I can't see the date. I don't. I feel like if I click on that, it's gonna uh, try to refresh, which I can't see. I'm gonna try it. Let me click on this. Ah, crap. It's not gonna load. But you can see checking out the history. There's just nothing here except for from February 24th. And January 17th, it just shows the, the few tabs you already saw here. How do I find out the last day this was, thing was used? Uh, I don't I don't know, but I just noticed there's 12 songs here. Balboa, <laughs> this is Balboa's iPod. All right, let's go check out this music. It's gotta have some Rocky, right? Never Never Land. All, it's all from Never Never Land, okay. I don't know, man. Let me go ahead and keep scrolling. I, I, I... Why? Why is Paper Toss not on here? You, get, you guys remember Paper Toss, you know, the game that every single iPod Touch, like, basically came with, like, even if you have Paper Toss, who were you? Like, you guys remember it, right? Uh, okay, let's go check out the voice memos, anything here? No, but I'll, I'll record one. I'm gonna do a little secret voice memo here. No microphone available. It doesn't have a built-in microphone? Hold on. Oh, does this have, there's definitely not a microphone on this. Is there seriously no built-in microphone? What? Aha! Now, fortunately, I do have some headphones with a microphone from our Firefox phone video we put out about a week ago. Go check it out, I'll put the link on the screen here. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and <laughs> record a voice menu. What? This 100% has a microphone on it. Are you kidding me? I probably have to have the proprietary my, uh, Apple microphone. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yo, we can see some search history on YouTube though. Kanye West, West Jay-Z, that, that makes sense. Those guys were doing some, some big time stuff back in like 2008, 2010, something in that era. Subscriptions, dude. <laughs> it's asking for my YouTube password, username, and password. Dude, that, aw. Oh. I gotta, I gotta take a photo of this and post it on our Instagram. You wanna check out the Smoking Silicon Instagram? Check out that link down below. Oh, yo. <laughs> the Game Center is still like partially logged in. I can see the email uh, account here. That's, that's kind of funny. Oh, I can't even get into iTunes. Guys, ah, this sucks. Guys, just a little quick thing. If you guys wanna send me 
an iPod Touch or some sort of iPod or old iPhone or any old device that I can explore in a video, let me know. Please send me an email. I'll put it down below. I always love, and love to look at old stuff and just relive the history. All right, but anyway, something to note about this battery is I, I, I unplugged it. So, so you guys first saw, like, it was about half an hour ago, I plugged it in just to get it to turn on. And then the battery showed as full. And I think actually just in the last 30 seconds, it's dropped from full to about half. So you know this battery is just absolutely toast. Let me see if I can see any details about the battery here. I don't think they let me open now. The battery is down to about a quarter. This thing's about to die. And it's it's been about a minute since it said it was 100%. So great stuff. Oh, another thing I forgot to check here is the default wallpapers. And Apple's always had pretty good default wallpapers, especially, dude, like, oh, do you guys remember the ads that had, like, you just, like, Remember those images? Dude, that's, that's so nostalgic. That's definitely like 2010, sometime in that era. I gotta set it as background. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait, oh, we have stock info here. Hold on, let me see. When was the uh, Dow last at 13,000? Let's see. Okay, so it's either late 2007, which is not possible because it's the Gen 2 iPod. So it looks like it's about 2012 is about the last time this thing was used. I, I can actually probably find the exact date, maybe. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> It died. So that was a total of max five minutes from 100%, 100% to being dead. Again, let me know down below if uh, you have any iPods you want to share with me, and I'll make a video on them. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.